The Venus Project is an organization that proposes a feasible plan of action for social change. One that works towards a peaceful and sustainable global civilization. It outlines an alternative to strive toward where human rights are no longer paper proclamations but a way of life. The Venus Project operates out of a 21 and a half acre research center located in Venus, Florida. When one considers the enormity of the challenges facing society today, we can safely conclude that the time is long overdue for us to re-examine our values and to reflect upon and evaluate some of the underlying issues and assumptions we have as a society. This self-analysis calls into question the very nature of what it means to be human, what it means to be a member of a civilization, and what choices we can make today to ensure a prosperous future for all the world's people. At present, we are left with very few alternatives. The answers of yesterday are no longer relevant. Either we continue as we have been, with our outmoded social customs and habits of thought, in which case, our future will be threatened. Or, we can apply a more appropriate set of values that are relevant to an emergent society. Experience tells us, that human behavior can be modified either toward constructive or destructive activity. This is what the Venus Project is all about. Directing our technology and resources toward the positive for the maximum benefit of people and the planet and seeking out new ways of thinking and living that emphasize and celebrate the vast potential of the human spirit. We have the tools at hand to design and build a future that is worthy of the human potential. The Venus Project presents a bold, new direction for humanity that entails nothing less than the total redesign of our culture. What follows is not an attempt to predict what will be done, only what could be done. The responsibility for our future is in our hands and depends on the decisions that we make today. The greatest resource that is available today is our own ingenuity. While social reformers and think tanks formulate strategies that treat only superficial symptoms without touching the basic social operation, the Venus Project approaches these problems somewhat differently. We feel we cannot eliminate these problems within the framework of the present political and monetary establishment. It would take too many years to accomplish any significant change. Most likely, they would be watered down and thinned out to such an extent that the changes would be indistinguishable. The Venus Project advocates an alternative vision for a sustainable new world civilization, unlike any social system that has gone before. Although this description is highly condensed, it is based upon years of study and experimental research by many many people, from many scientific disciplines. The Venus Project proposes a fresh approach. One that is dedicated to human and environmental concerns. It is an attainable vision of a bright and better future, one that is appropriate to the times in which we live, and both practical and feasible, for a positive future for all the world's people. The Venus Project calls for a straightforward approach to the redesign of a culture in which the age-old inadequacies of war, poverty, hunger, debt, Environmental degradation and unnecessary human suffering are viewed not only as avoidable, but totally unacceptable. One of the basic premises of the Venus Project is that we work towards having all of the Earth's resources as the common heritage of all the world's people. Anything less will simply result in a continuation of the same catalog of problems inherent in the present system. Throughout history, change has been slow. Successive groups of incompetent leaders have replaced those that preceded them, but the underlying social and economic problems remain because the basic value systems have gone unaltered. The problems we are faced with today cannot be solved politically or financially because they are highly technical in nature. There may not even be enough money available to pay for the required changes, but there are more than enough resources. This is why the Venus Project advocates the transition from a monetary-based society to the eventual realization of a resource-based global economy. We realize 
to make the transition from our present culture, which is politically incompetent, scarcity-oriented, and obsolete, to this new, more humane society, will require a quantum leap in both thought and action. The Venus Project Perspective An obsolete monetary system The money-based system evolved centuries ago. All of the world's economic systems, socialism, communism, fascism, and even the vaunted free enterprise system, perpetuate social stratification, elitism, nationalism, and racism, primarily based on economic disparity. As long as a social system uses money or barter, people and nations will seek to maintain the economic competitive edge. Or, if they cannot do so by means of commerce, they will, by military intervention. We still utilize these same outmoded methods. Our current monetary system is not capable of providing a high standard of living for everyone. Nor can it ensure the protection of the environment, because the major motive is profit. Strategies such as downsizing and toxic dumping increase the profit margin. With the advent of automation, cybernation, artificial intelligence and outsourcing, there will be an ever-increasing replacement of people by machines. As a result, fewer people will be able to purchase goods and services, even though our capability to produce an abundance will continue to exist. Our present outmoded political and economic systems are unable to apply the real benefits of today's innovative technology to achieve the greatest good for all people and to overcome the inequities imposed upon so many. Our technology is racing forward, yet, our social designs have remained relatively static. In other words, cultural change has not kept pace with technological change. We now have the means to produce goods and services in abundance for everyone. Unfortunately, today's science and technology have been diverted from achieving the greatest good for reasons of self-interest and monetary gain through planned obsolescence, sometimes referred to as the conscious withdrawal of efficiency. For example, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, whose function is presumed to be conducting research into ways of achieving higher crop yields per acre, actually pays farmers not to produce at full capacity. The monetary system tends to hold back the application of these methods that we know would best serve the interests of people and the environment. In a monetary system, purchasing power is not related to our capacity to produce goods and services. For example, during a depression, there are computers and DVDs on store shelves and automobiles in car lots, but most people do not have the purchasing power to buy them. The earth is still the same place, it is just the rules of the game that are obsolete and create strife, deprivation, and unnecessary human suffering. A monetary system developed years ago as a device to control human behavior in an environment with limited resources. Today, money is used to regulate the economy, not for the benefit of the general populace, but for those who control the financial wealth of nations. The Venus Project Perspective A Resource-Based Economy All social systems, regardless of political philosophy, religious beliefs, or social customs, ultimately depend upon natural resources, such as clean air and water, arable land, and the necessary technology and personnel to maintain a high standard of living. Simply stated, a resource-based economy utilizes existing resources rather than money and provides an equitable method of distributing these resources in the most efficient manner for the entire population. It is a system in which all goods and services are available without the use of money, credits, barter, or any other form of debt or servitude. Earth is abundant with plentiful resources. Today our practice of rationing resources through monetary methods is irrelevant and counterproductive to our survival. 
modern society has access to highly advanced technologies and can make available food, clothing, housing, medical care, a relevant educational system, and develop a limitless supply of renewable, non-contaminating energy, such as geothermal, solar, wind, tidal, etc. It is now possible to have everyone enjoy a very high standard of living, with all of the amenities that a prosperous civilization can provide. This can be accomplished through the intelligent and humane application of science and technology. To better understand the meaning of a resource-based economy, consider this. If all the money in the world were destroyed, as long as topsoil, factories, and other resources were left intact, we could build anything we choose to build, and fulfill any human need. It is not money that people need, rather, it is free access to the necessities of life. In a resource-based economy, money would be irrelevant. All that would be required are the resources, and the manufacturing and distribution of the products. When education and resources are made available to all people, without a price tag, there would be no limit to the human potential. Although this is difficult to imagine, even the wealthiest person today would be far better off in a resource-based society, as proposed by the Venus Project. Today, the middle classes live better than kings of times past. In a resource-based economy, everyone would live better than the wealthiest of today. In such a society, the measure of success would be based on the fulfillment of one's individual pursuits, rather than the acquisition of wealth, property and power. The choice is ours to make. Human behavior is subject to the same laws as any other natural phenomenon. Our customs, behaviors, and values are byproducts of our culture. No one is born with greed, prejudice, bigotry, patriotism, and hatred. These are all learned behavior patterns. If the environment is unaltered, similar behavior will reoccur. Today, much of the technology needed to bring about a global resource-based economy exists. If we choose to conform to the limitations, of our present monetary-based economy, then, it's likely, that we will continue to live, with its inevitable results. War, poverty, hunger, deprivation, crime, ignorance, stress, fear, and inequity. On the other hand, if we embrace the concept, of a global resource-based economy, learn more about it, and share our understanding with our friends, this will help humanity evolve out of its present state. Now, this is not in the book yet. The scientific method applied to society is something people don't think about much. But if you want to know where the answers may lie, it is in the application of the methods of science with human concern and environmental concern. For more information, please visit The Venus Project at www.thevenusproject.com.